Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Zotac GeForce RTX 2060 GPU video card here. This is a 6 gig GDDR6 uh, version and in this video I'm gonna go over how we can open it up and how we can service, clean and repaste uh, these cards. And this is from a client of mine and we are gonna do this service for them. It's really simple, easy and we can do it quickly and I'm gonna go over the tools that I'll be using to doing for doing this service tool number one and very important is a good screwdriver set I recommend you guys to grab the iFixit like, screwdriver set if you grab the pro set they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers if not grab yourself the basic set for the opening tools we're gonna be using a, a curved tweezers new or used uh, one sheet of the workshop towel is really important to have these are really good workshop for cleaning thermal paste and uh, you need very importantly a uh, good uh, quality alcohol isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol 95 or 99 percent plus it's very important i'll leave the link in a video description in case you want to purchase yours and the last thing would be a good thermal paste i'll be using an arctic mx4 you can go with thermal grizzly cryonaut over the board but uh, the arctic mx4 it's good enough for this card way good enough with all this on hand we're going to get it started first we're going to grab a phillips number one and we are going to remove all the screws we see on the bottom cover first we're going to start with these two on on this end let me see these two we're going to remove first so we're going to remove these two first they have a little spring so Keep them in one pile and then we're going to remove the four screws that's the bracket for the gpu so remove them i don't recommend you guys to replace the thermal pads but if you do want to replace them i'll tell you uh, where they are and what size all right once we remove this ones you want to hold it like this and i'm going to go ahead and once for all and disconnect the fan here so just pull it backward, wiggle it around, and it will disconnect itself. Right. So there's no more connectors. Now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna separate them gently. Do a little bit of force from here, a little force from there, and pull it apart. There we go. And these are a three millimeter thermal pads. So there's a one right there and one strip right there, and three millimeters right over here. So you can grab a three millimeter thermal pads and replace them. But again, it's really not necessary. But if you want to, go ahead and do it. Again, these two are three, three millimeters still. To clean the fan, you can use a toothbrush to just clean them up. With a toothbrush, take it outside, blow some air to compress air. And a compressor is really good to use. Don't use those candy air. Those are, they throw humidity. I don't recommend them. Use a toothbrush, clean it, and then blow some air. And use a workshop towel to just go ahead in between the fans and clean them up nicely. Okay, so you can just take it off and clean it up. Same thing. Do all around. And that's it. Now we're gonna clean up the thermal paste. We're gonna grab a little bit of the workshop towel. We're gonna soak it in, in an alcohol. Okay. And we're gonna fade it and we're gonna gently rub it over the CPU die right here. The only reason we, you need to have enough, a lot of alcohol on your towel. Don't worry, don't, but the reason is because the alcohol it blends in and it will let the, it won't let you damage the capacitors around the gpu that's why don't use the microfiber uh, towels because those are really hard and you can damage the capacitors around the gpu so with this one i can safely go over the capacitors and in cleaning between them without any issue okay then i'm gonna flip over use a dry part you can actually use a toothbrush to clean it in between the capacitors if you want just brush it off 
But as long as you clean the clean the GPU die, you more than fine. You don't have to go crazy like what I'm doing. That's that's not necessary. All right. Let's put that to one side and same thing in here. So clean up the CPU. I mean the heatsink. Soak a little more alcohol and do the wipe. And use a dry pot and clean it up. And the last thing down here would be to just grab a thermo paste. Do an I like to do an X shape right in here. You start from one corner, go right there, and you start from this side, go there. Don't worry, the heat. This is really. Uh, low viscosity so that means it will spread nicely all around so that's how much i like to put and i've been doing this for a very long time all right once you have this one in here now all you need to do is to align it i usually put this one on the on the table and bring this one up to one side like that and i'll connect the fan in this angle right there and then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna bring down I'm gonna observe to the screw holes make sure the screw holes are matched so I don't I'm not rubbing it once the screw holes match I'm gonna leave it there I'm gonna gently slowly put one screw just as long as it grabs it I don't want to put all the way in and I cross the screw them on the other side and we do the same thing. Make sure you always X and go across each other. Don't go around. There we go. Now we're gonna do second pass and we're gonna tighten up the screws. So let's put this one over here. Now we're gonna start tightening up the screws. And this is how you can service your GPU, which is an RTX 2060 Zotec uh, video card. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you did, you know what to do. Click that like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.